today I'm gonna build a robotic arm. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, I already fucked this up. Oh, this started about two months ago. First I made this soft robotic gripper. It's pneumatic, so you pressurize it and it closes. Then in my last video I designed the PCBs to control the pneumatics and the electronics. And the pneumatics just came, so I'm going to solder the PCBs and then I can start designing the robotic arm. Now I'm gonna be soldering this AMS1117. It's a voltage regulator and it's an SMD component. You have to solder it from the front. It's gonna be my first time trying this out, so we'll see how it goes. I haven't googled how to SMD solder, but I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna put some flux on the contacts. I've been not sure if I should put the paste before or after. Yeah, pro probably before. Peachy. I already spilled the paste and I also lost the AMS regulator. Yeah, this is not going too great. Oh, here it is. It's so small. Okay, now the heat gun. All right, this is pretty much finished. I haven't put the N-channel MOSFET here because I think I fucked them up. Oh, I'm gonna solder the controller and then we're gonna build the robot gun. And the controller is finished. Two joysticks, potentiometer, LED light, and two buttons. Pretty sick. Since I went for a minimalistic design, the final assembly ended up being only about 120 grams of PLA. Now I'm going to attach the power stuff, so the power input from the LiPo battery, then the buck converter and finally the switch. This is not going anywhere. Right, I almost forgot for the buck converter I need to adjust the output voltage. 7 volts, I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to attach the LiPo battery and hopefully it's not gonna burn. I coded a calibration program for the Arduino, so it should move the servo motor at 90 degrees, I think. That's weird. The servo isn't moving, I don't know why. Oh yeah, I just realized, for the calibration code, I used the same code as I used for my hexapod. And the hexapod used a different Arduino, it used Arduino Mega. I'm gonna quickly change that in the code and it should work. Let's do it, I rewrote the code, now it should move smoothly. Nice. Since I have all the parts printed, I'm going to set all of these servos to their default position and I'm gonna assemble the leg. By the way, if you're wondering where I got these PCBs, it's from my sponsor PCBWay. I've used them many times in the past for my projects and they are great. If you buy PCBs that are under 100 by 100 millimeters, you can get 10 of them for $5. And if you click the link in the description, you get a $5 coupon. Oh, and it's not just PCBs, they also do manufacturing stuff like CNC machining, injection molding and 3D printing. So if you need anything like this, make sure to check them out. So I'm gonna attach these servos to the 3D printed parts and we're gonna see how it goes. And of course I'll be using my bolt organizer I built about a month ago. I already fucked this up. This is supposed to hold the bolts. They are supposed to be screwed into this servo arm. And I've added heat set inserts to this. So I'm gonna have to take them out quickly. By some miracle, this is actually mirrored. 
I, I fucked this up. So every single bolt I screwed in, I fucked up. So I'm gonna just disassemble it and start over again. So I finished assembling the leg. I connected the servos to the main PCB. I'm gonna power this up. I think this will just all straighten up. Fuck. I designed this to be two separate PCBs. One is for the controls and the second one is the main PCB. These guys are gonna be connected with this long cable. It's kind of ugly and very thick, but I'm not exactly what you would call a perfectionist. Now I'm gonna write some basic code for these joysticks and with them I'm gonna control the servo motors. Just a quick update, I wrote some code and I got all of the servo motors to move. But this servo motor for the gripper needs a long cable, so I added this additional cable to the servo cable. And I think this creates a lot of noise because if I try moving it, I mean, it moves, but it takes a long time. It doesn't work as well as I want it to. All right, I finally figured out why this wasn't working. I thought it's the electronics problem. So I went over the whole PCB, checked everything with, the, with a multimeter and everything seemed to be fine. And I just found out this whole time the problem was the code. These servos move 270 degrees. And the, for example, for the gripper, this is the default position. So I'm gonna move the gripper now. If I move it this way, nothing happens because it's at the maximum position it can be at. And if I try to move it the other way, it doesn't move right away because the code thinks that the gripper is here. And when I tell it to move the other way, it moves, let's say here, which is still further than the max position, so it looks like it's not responding at all, even though the problem is just the wind up in the code. So I have to hold it for longer time. And then it starts to move and it works fine. I added this saturation function, so when you reach the max angle, it won't increase it and this burns the wind up. And this is how it moves with the new code. So just look at this angle, or actually I'm just gonna hold it like that so it's easier to see. And it should move 145 degrees to each side. Oh. Nice. So I've been trying to pick up this tape with my robotic arm. This gripper was meant to be just decoration and it slips. So I'm gonna add this heat shrink tubing. That fire wasn't expected. Fuck. Playing with this arm is a lot of fun, but it's just a prototype. If you look here, this is my pneumatics box. So I'm gonna add all of these pneumatics and I'm gonna add this pneumatic gripper to the robotic arm. I will also probably make it a lot bigger because the gripper is quite large. I've shown you how to make the PCBs, connect the wiring and kind of how to write the code. So you can build it yourself. Or if you want to save some time, you can check out my Patreon where there are all the files and it also supports the channel. I've already got a few supporters on Patreon and I really appreciate you.